welcome to educational channel so in this uh, video i will show complete uh, model test paper 2 so let us solve each and every problem in this and before solving let us see this uh, topic wise approximate allocation marks in this so especially for icsc class 10th students this paper right so in this commercial maths you are getting 9 marks total and algebra c1 by 1 is a 28 and coordinate geometry is 13, geometry and menstruation is 29, and trigonometry is 11, statistics is around 20. So this is to get idea how the marks are there in topic wise. Okay. Let us see the question wise in this full paper. Let us see. So in this paper links I am giving in description below. So you can download the papers, around 25 model papers are this, but especially for ICC 10. So you can see this website name, same link is in description below and you can paper link also is there. Okay, just to go to the website and find out. Fine. Now let us uh, start the problem. Question wise, we will see one by one. So 11 questions. Section A is uh, 4 questions, 40 marks and section B is 7 questions but 3 choice. So you know already everything that. Okay, in this first one uh, from matrix, let X be a matrix such that 6 minus 2, 2, 3 into x, x is a matrix, is equal to 10 minus 4. So state the order of the matrix x and find the matrix also. I'm going to find out the order, at the same time you should find out the matrix. And let's take this question. Okay, so here, first if you take the given, the matrix, so the statement is, let this is the matrix A, and I'm taking it as B. So A into x is equal to B. So let so matrix A taking as 6 minus 2, 2, 3. It is given. So we need to find out the matrix X. And let B is uh, the 10 and minus 4. These two are given. So according to the condition, we need to find out A X is equals to B. So X is a matrix. Now if you see the order, this is uh, 2 rows, 2 columns. So it's a 2 by 2. So let me take this big number. So matrix C and this C is a 2 rows, 1 column. And X matrix we need to find out. So to find out the order of the matrix, when you take this condition, okay, matrix A, that is 6, minus 2, 2 and 3. Okay, this is we need to multiply with matrix X. That order we should find out first. And when the multiplying result is 10 and minus 4. Okay. Now just to see the this uh, order. This is a 2 rows, 2 columns, 2 by 2. And this is 2 rows, 1 column is resultant matrix. Now according to the condition, what are the number here? So if you observe, this should be equal to this center line that means it must be 2 because middle should be same so whatever the columns and next matrix should number of rows should be equal okay. and the remaining part is results and if you see the remaining and this first matrix and last matrix should be equal to this number so here 2 by here 1 is there so result is 2 by 1 Means this one should be equal to the same this matrix same as it should be that is one that means uh, two rows one columns if it is x is two by one matrix only you can take so middle should be equal and this first number and last number means first matrix uh, rows second matrix column should be equal to result in matrix order that is this so two by one therefore order of the matrix x is therefore Okay, if you are more clear this, you can see this, this has to should be like this. So whatever the result, that should be equal to this order, that is 2 by 1, that's why you can take 1. Okay. Therefore, so order of the matrix, so order of the matrix X is equal to 2 rows, 1 column, so 2 by 1, you have to read in terms of maths. Then let we can take x matrix is x and y. So 2 rows and 1 column. So x, y. 
if you find out x and y value is enough. So in the place of x, we can keep this x y matrix, uh, matrix x y elements and we multiply. Now let us see. So this is the order of the matrix we got. So this is the order of the matrix. No. Therefore, from this given data, 6 minus 2, 2, 3. That into x, y. Because matrix x is x and y. That is equals to 10, 10 and minus 4. Now let us uh, multiply this first row, first column. So 6x minus 2y. First row, first column. Again, second row with first column. That means 2x in all the matrix multiplications. 2x plus 3y. So that is equals to uh, 10 comma minus 4. That pattern we followed here. This is first row and this first column. Simultaneously so, multiply. Now from this we can take uh, 6x minus 2y is equals to 10. And similarly uh, 2x plus 3y is equals to minus 4. That will be equation 1 and 2. So by solving these three equations, we will get the x and y values. Very simple. Okay, you can simplify this. First equation asked is second equation multiply 3. So to make the x coefficient same, we just am taking 6x minus 2y is equals to 10 with the number 3 multiply complete second equation. That means 6x plus 9y minus 12. And just change the sign. You cancel minus 2 minus 9. So minus 11 by 10 plus 12. So 22. Then y is equals to minus 2. If you know y value, you can find out the value of x. You substitute here. So 6x minus 2y. Y is minus 2 is equals to 10. This is from equation 1 I take. 6x plus 4 is equals to 10. 6x is equal to 6. Okay, 10 minus 4. Then x is equals to 1. If the x is 1 and y is minus 2, therefore x matrix is a 1 comma minus 2. Okay, it is a 2 by 1 matrix. Okay, so this is 2 rows, 1 column. So 2 by 1 matrix. You can find it like this. Right. Now, this is state of the order and matrix x both we got. Now in this question number 1, second one, second part. If 10, 13, 15, 18, x plus 1, x plus 3, Okay, this is the given data. Our observations arranged in ascending order. They only mention the question. It's in ascending order. With the median 24. So find the value of x and find the mean. First you should find out the median. Then you can find out the mean. So in this uh, given series, the given numbers arranged in ascending order. Okay, that is uh, 10, 13, 15, 18, x plus 1, x plus 3, 30, 32, 35 and 41. Okay, this number is given. Here number of, uh, your total number is 10. That is the even number. So whenever your is even, then you can write the formula for median. Therefore, median is equals to 10, right? So half of the 10, that means n by 2. And n by 2 is observation. That means 5th observation. So 5th observation according to formula plus 6th observation. 6th observation divided by 2. Okay, the formula if you take half of the n by 2 observation plus uh, n by 2 plus 1 observation. Just apply formula here. Because of uh, n is even. Okay, then median is given in the question itself, that is 24. If you observe, fifth observation is x plus 1 and sixth observation is x plus 3. Therefore, x plus 1 plus x plus 3 by 2. Just simplify 2x plus 4 is equal to 48, 2x is equal to 44 and x is equal to 22. Once you know x value is 22, then you can find out the mean. Then you can, therefore, the x i. So all the letters you can take. Then that series, the complete series, if you take 10, comma, 13, 
15, 18. Then x is 22. So here 1 is x plus 1 and x plus 3. Next to 30, 32, 35, 31 as it is. x value is 22. So 22 plus 1 is 23. So 23 and next is 25. These are the fixed already given. 30, 32, 35, 41. Now the x bar. That means mean. So mean is equal to sum of the observations. So sigma x i by 10. Number is 10. This all is 242 if you add. Divide by 10. So 24.2 is the mean. Right. First you should find out the x value by using the median formula. From that we got this uh, mean value by applying formula of the mean. Next uh, scene, Ten, first one is the third one. If 2x cube plus ax square plus bx minus 6 as x minus 2 as a factor and leaves the remainder 36 when divided by x minus 3, find the value as a value. x minus 2 is a factor and leaves the remainder is 36, first case. So let's take the equation and solve. So the what are the equation is given? Let the f of x. So first uh, see the f of x is uh, given. That is 2x cube plus ax square plus bx minus 6. Since x minus 2 is the factor, okay, is given. Since x minus 2 is a factor, x minus 2 is a factor means you can take f of x. Is given is a factor of f of x therefore f of uh, plus 2 is equal to 0 f of 2 is 0 and take this one more x minus 2 as a factor and leaves the remainder as 36 when divided by x minus 3 first of all this factor we stop this sentence and leaves the remainder as 36 when divided by x minus 3 x minus 3 means okay first of all f of 2 is 0 that means 2 into 2 cube plus a into 2 square plus b into 2 minus 6 is equal to 0. So it is 2 power 3 is 8, 16 minus 6 and this 4a square. So this is 16 plus 4a plus 2b minus 6 is equal to 0. 4a plus 2b plus 10 is equal to 0. So if you simplify this, 2a plus b is equal to minus 5. Okay, let be equation 1. Just to divide by 2 both sides and simplify. Then also this f of x, that is also given. Also f of x is divided by the second sentence is divided by x minus 3 and remainder is given. So, okay, remainder is 36. Now, use this, that means f of 3 is equal to 36. Because x minus 3 is a factor. f of 3 is 36. Now, in the place of x, just to substitute the value 3. That is 2 into 3 cube plus a into 3 square plus uh, b into 3 minus 6 is equal to 35. Just to simplify this everything, you will get 3a plus b is equals to minus 4. Just simplify it. Right? Let me be equation 2. Okay, 2a plus b is minus 5, 3a plus b is minus 4. So by solving this both equations. Okay. By solving so equation 1, comma 2 will get a is equals to 1 and b is equals to minus 1. Just eliminate the b and simplify. Just write answers. Then you can take this value f of x. So therefore, f of x is equals to 2x cube plus x square minus 7x minus 6. This is the function now. So whatever the value is given, you can take this. So this equation f of x is equals to 2x cube minus 7x minus 6 is by using this a and b values. a is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus 7. Now according to the question, we need to find out a, b values and factorize this uh, equation after substituting a and b. Here x minus 2 is a factor. So let's take this factor and find other factors. x minus 2 is a factor. So we can do division method. That is x minus 2 is a factor, right? 
then 2x cube plus x square minus 7x minus 6. We do division. What is our quotient you get? You can factor again. So that is uh, 2x square. 2x square into x is 2x cube minus 4x square. And subtract, change the sign. Plus x square is 5x square minus 7x is next term. Again plus 5x. So 5x square, 5x to x, 5 to z, 10x. Just do division method. This is change the sign. Minus 7 plus 10 is uh, 3x. This already is taken down. Again next is minus 6. So this is plus 3. So 3x minus 6. And by changing the sign, you can cancel and 0. Now when you take this 2x square, now let me this equation is 2x square plus 5x plus 3. So whatever it is. 2x square plus 5x plus 3. This we have to factorize. Now this you can factorize. 5, 3, uh, 2, 3 is a 6. You can write uh, 5, 1, 6, 1, 0. Okay, 6 minus 1 is 5. Then 2x square plus 6x minus x plus 3. Take 2x common, x plus 3 minus 1 common, x plus 3. Right, then 6x six, six minus 1 is 5. You can take here, okay, if you take this uh, value, so this factorization is not possible if you do in this way. Let us take this coefficients different, okay, if you observe 2, 3 is a 6, 6 we can write uh, 2 into 3, okay, 2 plus 3 is 5, 2 3 is a 6, then only you can get. Now 2x squared plus 3x plus 2x. Plus 3 as this. If you take x common, 2x plus 3, plus nothing is common, so 1 is the common, then 2x plus 3. So 2x plus 3 is the common overall, x plus 1. So x plus 1, 2x plus 3. Therefore, so whatever f of x is the function, x minus 2 is a given factor, then other factors are 2x plus 3 and x plus 1. Okay, these are the factors. So now this is the question number 1. Then we can start the problems to now.